Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, or I should say, ahoy there, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are looking at yet another game engine, and this one is very specific. Truth of the matter is, there's nothing here for you to use to create your own game. But if you want to look at the source code for a game engine that was proprietary previously and used to make several successful commercial games, this is your opportunity. The devs here have released the source code for Storm Engine, and this is the thing that powers the Sea Dog series of open world pirate games. I'm not actually that familiar with this genre. Uh, it's definitely a specific niche, but it does have its loyal fans, and if you wanted to mod or expand upon uh, this series of games, you now can do so because the source code has been released. Uh, they also did a uh, beta back in February 28th, so they keep doing updates, so this is an under-development game. In terms of the game itself, uh, it is called Sea Dogs to Each His Own. This is actually the latest in the series of games. We'll see, there's been a ton of games made using this engine all around the whole maritime and nautical theme. So you're basically, you know, running around in pirate ships. There's some third-person exploration stuff going on here, and so on. As you can also tell from the graphics, this is a little bit on the dated side. We're talking DX9 here for the most part. But what they've done is they've opened it up for the community, so if you want to contribute to this game, uh, you can do so now. And also, if you uh, want to see... You know, just an example of how another commercial company used and developed their previously proprietary game engine. This is your opportunity. So you see here, there are a number of different Sea Dog games out there, a variety of different ratings on them. Again, the, the newest one being the To Each His Own, which actually has like 1,351 mostly positive ratings, so not too bad. Uh, the source code itself is now available over on GitHub. Uh, you can see here it is under the GPL v3 license. Uh, that is the same license that Blender is under. It kind of means that if you're going to work on or contribute to the source code, you're, you're keeping your source code in the public domain as well. So it's not something that you can't fork this and use it to make a closed source commercial project. Just something to be aware of. There are definite limitations to what you can do with GPL v3. Do check that out if you're looking at using the source code in any major way. Uh, but uh, it's all up there. The vast majority of the source code, and I mean the vast majority, is 96% C++. And basically the rest of this is probably mostly just GitHub detecting things wrong. Uh, they do have GitHub discussions and a Discord chat server if you want to get involved in this one. In order to build this, this is all uh, Windows-based. You need to have Visual Studio 2019. You have to have the Visual Studio C++ tooling installed. You need to have the VC++ Clang, C Lang uh, compilers installed. And you have to install Conan. That's Conan, the C++ package manager. Uh, just make sure you install that and include it in your system path, and you should be good to go. Then just open the directory up in Visual Studio, and it should do the rest for you. Uh, there are some things they're doing. They're, they're going to replace some proprietary libraries with um, open ones. They're going to change out their custom rendering engine to use BGFX instead. By the way, if you have not ever checked out BGFX, I did a video on this in the past. It's the bring your own game engine framework. It's a C rendering uh, layer or library. What it does is it sits in between things like DirectX, Metal, OpenGL, and so on, and provides the rendering functionality for you. It, it does a bit more on top of that, but it abstracts away the complexities of dealing with the renderer. And it's been used to make several different projects. But again, that's a different video that I've actually already made. So if you're interested in learning more about BGFX that they're reporting to, I have have already done a video on that subject. So that is kind of Storm Engine. That's where it's at. You want to jump in here. Again, just clone this, uh, the repository down. You open up in um, Visual Studio. Simple enough. Uh, it's, it's straightforward uh, early 2010 C++ code. It, it looks exactly like what I would expect. It's also got all of the tooling in place. There is some documentation here. Uh, not, not a ton, uh, but there is a little bit of documentation here. And on occasion, some of it goes into Russian, I believe. Uh, so just do be aware of that as well. Um, there's also all of the various different tools were released in here as well. So there's an animation viewer, a Maya exporter, the modding tool, the model viewer, particle editor, script hider, texture converter, and walk patcher are all included there as well. But the biggest thing here is you do have a game engine for which you can basically learn how another company did their thing. Also, what you can do is come in and do the thing that you always do whenever somebody uh, releases a new uh, new set of source code, and you see how many times they swore in the source code. And the good thing is, they did, all the time. So, uh, no disappointment there. Uh, something you have to do with every new source code basis. Actually, you know what? 17 lines. That wasn't that bad. They were actually... Ooh, there's the uh, super BFG sort of life here. 
<laughs> so, I don't know. I'm immature. Something I do with every time anyone releases open source. And don't lie, you probably do the same thing. So, uh, yeah, source code is out there. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, they actually used this game engine in quite a few different games. It was used to make Sea Dogs, Sea Dogs, Sea Dogs, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, New Horizons, Storm Coding, and Age of Sail 2. So, basically, if you have played at a pirate-themed game in the last 10 years and it wasn't an Assassin's Creed... Uh, there's a pretty good chance that the Storm engine was what powered it. Uh, so if you're, I don't know, have aspirations of creating your own open world pirate RPG style game, you now have a game engine out there to check from. Now do keep in mind, this is the game engine and the modding tools and the tools. It is not the game itself. So that source code is still uh, not out there. Just something to be aware of. But uh, it's always cool when developers release uh, source code to, you know, successful titles. It gives just you know, something to look at, something to read, or something for me to make a video about yet another game engine. So let me know uh, what you think. Let me know what you think of these series of games. Again, pirates have never really been my thing in, in that old age of old pirates versus ninja. Ninja 100% for me. 100%. So let me know too. Ninja Pirate, it, it's Ninja. It's got to be Ninja. But for those of you that are into the Pirate, well, here you go. You have a game engine that you can play around with. OpenGL, uh, I'm sorry, it's uh, GPL v3, Drex 3D9 based. Source code is out there. Be interested to see where this goes. Once they get it moved to BGFX, it potentially could be ported to other platforms and so on. Be, uh, be interesting to see what comes of this project. And I don't know how much of a modding community Sea Dog games have. I don't really know much about these games at all, but definitely a cool announcement. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.